Hey guys, my name is Robert. Uh, I'm in y'all's class, probably in the back, sleeping or something like that, so don't really say much, but yeah, sorry about that. But uh, today I'm going to talk to y'all about Ruben Salazar. He was a Mexican American journalist who covered the Chicano community, like Mexicans, Hispanics, and everything. He's actually probably he was actually the first one to ever do that in like mass media, like mainstream, where people could see and everything. So I'm just gonna give y'all like his life story and you know, like uh, how he died. How he died was very controversial. I'll get that to the end. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you all about him. And uh, yeah, uh, he was born in Mexico and raised in El Paso uh, in 1929, March 3rd. He was born. Uh, he was the he served in the U.S. Army as soon as he got out of high school for about two years, I think. And then uh, he actually left, and now he uh, went to Texas Western College, and he graduated there, got his journalism degree in 1954. <coughs> Excuse me. His first job uh, was at the El Paso Herald, and it was actually, well, the thing that he did was, was actually really cool. He, uh... The thing that got him into the spotlight, he uh, pretended to be drunk so he could be arrested into the El Paso jail. And uh, when he was there, he was uh, uh, investigating the, um, the wrong treatment of inmates by prison guards. And so he just got drunk on purpose and basically stayed there for a couple of days and investigated that and became one. That was one of the biggest cases of the year, I think. Uh, then he went ahead and he moved. Uh, he left El Paso Her Herald and he went to the LA Times, which was his big break uh, in 1959. And he stayed there for a couple of years. He kept doing his thing. And then he left in 1970 and left to serve as a news director for this big uh, Spanish television show that just spoke Spanish. And he was the news director, the big guy of the bunch and everything. And uh, But then he uh, went, over, went and did a went over to do a report on a big old riot that was happening and um, he wasn't even in the riot it was just a big riot and everything and uh, he was they like a lot of people that were that were there said that like he was in the bar and apparently the riot was getting out of hand but all all Salazar was doing was just drinking having a little chill time and one of the police officers shot in shot a uh, tear gas instead of being just the normal tear gas that uh, uh, explodes and uh, detonates just tear gas, like the gas out knocks some people out, obviously. They actually shot a two inch wall piercing round and instead of, it, instead of it hitting the ground or anything, it hit Salazar right in the head and he was just dead instantly on impact. And that was one of the biggest controversial topics uh, ever. And like to this day, like people still don't, they still, think it's homicide but they didn't count as homicide because he wasn't he wasn't doing it on purpose the officer um then and recently after his death last year actually in 2014 uh pbs did a documentary on his death and his whole life called man in the middle y'all can check it out it's actually pretty good i watched i watched a little bit of it and it's just talking about all they did the movements that he's done and how much he's helped the mexican community get out of the news I remember reading a couple things about whenever he was in the LA Times, it was like 100% white. There were no other ethnicities that weren't black, Hispanic, or anything. And uh, he ended up being the only one, only Mexican there to work at the LA Times. So it was, everyone else was white and there was only him, just the only Hispanic. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and they said in the, in the documentary, if y'all get a chance to read it, he, uh, he a lot of people said he was like two different people like at work he was just a normal human being like he didn't he didn't bring out his mexican side he didn't he just what he didn't want to be seen as a mexican journalist he just wanted to be seen as a journalist which is actually really good but then whenever he got home and his wife was white and his daughter they didn't want to raise him up as a mexican well like he wanted to teach her Mex spanish spanish language and everything like that but whenever he got home, he was more, he more, uh, he brought out his own heritage more than he hit it in person. And, uh, if y'all get a chance, just check out the documentary. It's actually pretty good. But, uh, other than that, appreciate y'all's time.